Okay, so once you're signed up, you should be able to log in. And these are the droplets. Um, these are jobs that I already created a while ago. Some of them are actually still hosting. <laughs> Most of them are still hosting, in fact. And um, what you want to do is to create a joblet here. Let's zoom in a little bit. You want to create a joblet. So this is, a, this is also one of the reasons why I want you guys to um, use terminal instead of whatever um, other, other Python framework that, you, that you're using because it's gonna, this is going to come in really handy once you get used to using DigitalOcean and if you want to remotely access to your server. So um, there are a few options here. These are different um, Linux distributions. Since we've been using Ubuntu the whole time, I'm going to stick with Ubuntu. And these are the options that I talked about. So like I said before, we're going to pick the cheapest one because it's nothing fancy. We are not expecting millions and hundreds of thousands of traffic to our to our server. So it's not going to crash the server. It's more than enough for, um, for demonstration purposes and practice. So the cheapest one is $5 per month. That is if you host it 24-7 non-stop. But if you destroy the droplet, after you finish, it's only going to cost you whatever time the droplet has been up. Let's say if you, let's say if we create this droplet and I'm going to destroy it two hours later, it's going to take cost me less than a quarter. It's actually less than cents for an hour, so it's pretty good. And I'm not going to add backups. I'm not going to add block storage. That's for a different matter. So depending on where you are you're going to want to choose a region for the data center. So um, let's say if, if you lived in England, so you want to choose the one that's closest to you, so you choose London or Singapore, Amsterdam. For now, I personally live in East Coast, so I'm going to choose New York. You don't have to do this. This is for SSH. It's for, this is basically a security key. I already have um, this here is my SSH key. That's only for um, you. Ba you basically give your remote server this key, and the second part of the key is located is located in your computer. And only your com if you use SSH key, it's a lot more secure than regular password because it's almost impossible for you to read the public key and the private key. The private key is what you're going to keep, the public key is what you're giving away, and the cert only the ones with the private key and public key that matches can access to the remote server. Let's say if, if I use my own SSH, my own public key for the server, and I have the, SS, have the private key on this computer, only this computer that I have can access that remote server. No other computer can do it. So last thing here, I'm just going to create one droplet, one server. You can create multiple if you want to. I'm just going to do one. We're going to name this 